Time for an upgrade for Night Dust and the Green Headed Ants, the Retida Panera Metallica Colony. So I've done a few on these guys, but let's give them an upgrade. They're overdue. So I've had this colony for quite some time now and they're doing really well. Numbers are getting up really high. Um, they probably have to be um, over 400 workers now in this colony and there's just no room left in their nest or the outworld. So I think I'm going to have to do a bit of an upgrade. If we have a little bit look, a little closer look at their setup now, you can see how packed they are in that nest. And the outworld is an absolute mess. These, these girls move the dirt around something crazy all the time. They're always building uh, little tunnels through it. And you can see here they've piled it up all over the Biformica liquid feeder, which I have full of water. They just pick up all the dirt and are constantly packing it all over it. So extremely active. Um, not much fun in this outward for them anymore. So I thought it's time to give these girls a little bit of an upgrade. So here we can see in the outworld, as I mentioned, um, a lot of activity going on. Fascinating how they've built up all over this um, container with the water in it as well. Now, I only just cleaned this off probably less than five days ago and they've already packed it full of dirt all over it. You can see they've piled the cocoons here as well in the outworld. Um, there's not a lot of room left in their nest and it's don't know why but probably something to do with the temperature as well the humidity so they've moved them all out into the outworld like we can see here plenty of activity you can see how they've dug nests down into the sand of the outworld as well and there's a lot hiding underneath there burrowed down under the under the dirt so it's a bit of a filthy sort of setup I've got going on here at the moment this outworld I think these girls deserve a bit of an out upgrade. What do you what do you guys think? Time for an upgrade for them? Well, I've got some exciting stuff coming up, so we'll share that with you shortly. Uh, exciting new upgrade, which stay tuned for. Don't want you to miss out on it. Okay, well, I've showed you around the outworld here, so you could uh, see how that is looking and why they are in desperate need of an upgrade for an outworld let alone anything else but let's have a closer look at the nest okay so here we're having a look at the nest now so this is uh, fairly packed and as you saw there were a lot of workers in the outworld so there's no way they could all fit inside that nest so that's an ozance acrylic nest one of the older styles um, there's a link down in the description below from, for Ant Keeping Depot if you're looking at getting those nests as well. So here we have it. Here's the bit of the overview of the nest and uh, it's packed. So a little bit of a closer little uh, macro look inside. A couple of interesting things to show you. Um, so you've probably noticed here, and as of this footage has been happening, you can see these drones. So the male drones, um, there's probably close to... 10 to a dozen in this colony, which is a good sign, good healthy sign of a colony. Um, a lot of eggs are being stored inside here as well. You can see a little bit of the cleaning work. That worker there's got a cluster of eggs there as well, so that's pretty cool to have a look at. Here we go. So more of those drones in here as well. And I just wanted to show you a little bit of the top of this water tower as well where they've been building. Okay, so there we go. So there's a bit of an overview of how the colony is going so far, a bit of an update. You can see the numbers have grown a lot. They're definitely ready for an upgrade. And so this is one I wanted to share with you guys. Alrighty. And here it is, the new nest. Now this is a custom built nest out of Waitong. And look at it, the quality is fantastic. So Coltrane made this one for me and what a beautifully designed nest. The finish is absolutely fantastic. A really good finish around the uh, nest chambers that are there. The holes are drilled nice, good magnet placing, the sponges, 
just fantastic quality. So huge shout out to Coltrane for making this for me. So here's the comparison of it. Uh, you can see it's quite a bit bigger than the current nest they're in. So I'm hoping this will give them enough room for quite a while. It's quite a deep nest as well, which is really good because they like hanging off the side of the walls as well. Now the green headed ants, they cannot climb on smooth surfaces. So the Waitong is really good for that. They can actually then hang off the sides of the walls, gives them a lot more space as well and that depth, which is really good. Now this here, you can see the size of the new outward I'm going to give to them as well. And this is pretty much the setup. So let's just show you guys quickly what I'm going to do. So this is the hole placement. Cut those out, drilled those out, smoothed it out here, and it's got two entrances here into the nest using the tubing as such. So nice and simple setup, but just expanding their nest a little so they've got those uh, two connectors. Now in the outworld here, I'm just putting a base of some sand here. Um, just some fine sand. I've gone, gone for a light sand this time, um, just so they stand out a little bit better over that. Put a few rocks in place, because these guys do like to dig and move the sand around. And this way the rocks will be there, so they've got a nice easy way to get in and out of their nest. And a few little bits and pieces in there as well for them to uh, climb around on. Again, most of my outworlds are like fairly basic so I can clean them up nicely. And there's the old one in the background. So what do you think guys? A bit of a decent upgrade? Okay, now it's time for the tricky part, actually transferring them over. So I've just popped the nest off the old outworld and plugged up the outworld and just laid it there, in the, uh, the nest there in the outworld as well. So hopefully they can transfer out. And here you can see the old outworld just plugged up with a cotton wool there as I try and do this transition as seamlessly as possible without getting ants to go everywhere. Now this is always a challenge, a good challenge for any ant keeper is doing the transfer. So what I've decided to do is use the back entrance into this Waitong nest that Coltrane made for me and I've just uh, put a bit of vinyl tube in there into the outworld and hopefully they'll be able to transfer themselves into that nest. So, I don't want to get stung by these guys too much, uh, a little bit painful um, if you know anything about these ants, if you're used to them, if you've been around Australia, I'm sure you've been stung by them uh, before, very common, quite painful. So, this is how it's going, I've just cut out a bit of red film for the top of the nest, I'll show you inside there in a second, but you can see the activity here in the outworld already plenty of activity running around and exploring their new nest, which I'm really happy about. Okay, so taken a bit of time, but they're slowly working their way out of the old outworld into the nest and then exploring the new outworld as well. So this did take quite a while. Um, probably two to three hours for the full transfer to actually happen. And I'll just show you the bit of the progress. Now I had to use a, just a fine um, paintbrush and you just put that underneath a few of the ants there in the outworld and um, just transfer them over, drop them over one at a time uh, for part of it. So that was took quite a bit of time. Also all the cocoons that were in the outworld, I just moistened the end of the paintbrush and just pick them up like that. It's one of the best ways because they stick to it. It's nice and gentle though, and it won't do any damage at all to them. So you can see here, they're really liking this new nest, aren't they? A lot of cocoons in here. You're exploring it, plenty of room, which is really nice. So there's still a few here, and when I was emptying it out, I noticed this cluster in the corner. And believe it or not, the queen was still in the outworld probably fairly vital I get night dust and put her into the new setup so this colony can kept, keep growing. So I transferred them over, um, like I said took quite a bit of time but it was really fascinating to watch the process and watch them explore this new outworld and test out the actual new nest they had here. So what do you guys think? Do you like the Waitong nests or do you prefer an acrylic setup? or even a naturalistic setup. 
uh, let me know in the comments below what you guys prefer for your end setups. Okay, so we can see the bit of the progress here. The nest is quite full now. Um, they've transferred those cocoons in there, the clusters of eggs as well. I've hydrated the nest with those two sponge port areas, which is good. And I've also disconnected the uh, tubing on the rear entrance there and just plugged that up as well. So this is basically what the final setup is going to look like. So I think that's quite nice. It's quite a decent upgrade from what they had before. The outworld is probably twice the size and the nest would have to be twice the size as well. So well and truly worth it. How many workers do you think I've got, guys? Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think I've got close to 500? It's got to be getting up there. Now one thing I did notice in the outworld, these guys never stop. They're digging again. Look at them burrowing down in the corner here. And also, when I had a look at the other corner, they're also digging over there. Seriously, these guys just need to calm down and relax. Okay, so I just wanted to give, show you guys a little bit closer up inside the nest here as we go and we have a little bit of a look and see how they're reacting to this new nest setup. So you can see there's plenty of room in here. The contrast is really nice against the white hong as well, which is good, so you can get to see the colours. The only problem is you probably won't be able to see too much for the cluster of eggs and things like that though. But the cocoons, they stand out very nicely as well. What a nice uh, white hong nest here by Coltrane. Thanks again, mate. So plenty of activity here inside the nest, like I said. The numbers have got to be up there, they've got to be pretty high now. I think they're enjoying the extra room and hopefully they'll keep all the cocoons in here now rather than transferring them into the outworld. I'd uh, like to see that happen anyway. Let's have a bit of a closer look with the macro lens. So here's all the cocoons that they've managed to pile inside. See those beautiful vibrant colours can't you with the green headed ants. And now we all down pat with the uh, Latin name for these guys, everyone been practicing? Retida Panera Metallica. Got a couple of drones there, quite a few as I mentioned, inside the nest. So again, the population is going to uh, uh, blossom again. There's plenty of new brood, new eggs, new brood, and lots of cocoons ready to hatch as well. So we expect this colony to really expand over the next couple of months. Here in Australia we're heading into winter, it's April now, so we'll be heading into winter soon. Um, so we'll see the colony actually slow down a little bit as far as production. But these green-headed ants, they're very hardy ants here in Australia. Okay, well that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed this upgrade and update to the green-headed ants. The nest with queen night dust so thanks very much for watching guys please subscribe if you haven't to the channel i really appreciate it we're, we're getting a lot of people subscribing on here and i love it it just makes me want to produce more of these for you guys so thanks very much for watching guys and happy and keeping